Yeah, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to briefing for Monday, the 29th of January. OK, chart today um, showing low pressure just sent it off to the west of us, uh, just on the coast there. Um, high pressure moving further away in the continent. And we're just left with this sort of slightly slack air mass, really, um, just behind this warm front. So it's very warm and unfortunately very humid. Moving across to, so that was a midday, uh, at midnight, it's moved very, very slightly, but really there's not a lot of movement here. Uh, so we're just really hoping the sun's going to get to the ground and heat it up a little bit and get rid of this mist that we've got at the moment. Further ahead tomorrow, high pressure moving in, um, a lot of activity in the Atlantic, but tomorrow should be okay, probably fairly slack again with the potential for some mist. And moving further ahead into the week, looks like the wind will be picking up. Uh, with some fronts on their way as well. Spot winds today um, is going to be fairly brisk. It's showing about 35 knots at flying height, and that's from about 200 to 220 at 2,000 feet and slightly more southerly at ground level. SAPIC showing quite a lot of cloud. You can see sort of the, the thicker cloud up to the northwest where those fronts are over our area. It's fairly cloudy with no obvious clearance in sight. And on the rainfall radar, again, you can see there's a lot of rain up to the north and we're just on the edge um, of the area that's getting it. Looking at the forecast for the rain, um, as I said, it's very slow moving, so it's not really going to affect us. You see it just moving around there. And by the time we reach the end of flying, it's, it's not really a problem for us. Uh, but being so close to it, we're still in this very damp air mass. Public forecast then is showing mist uh, this morning, uh, otherwise a cloudy day later on. Uh, steady breeze from the south showing gusts up to about 24, so pretty significant. And notice the visibility being poor um, to medium until the afternoon. And also the humidity is pretty high, up at almost 90%, um, pretty much all morning, improving into the afternoon. GFS at midday is showing temperature of 12 or so degrees, so very warm, with dew points sat at around 9 or 10. So we, we've got um, an increasing split in temperature dew point, but still relatively close at that point. That's current view outside. Uh, needless to say, it's not flyable currently. Currently just over 9 degrees, dew points at 7.6. And Odium's forecast, currently overcast at 300 feet and mist. I'd say that's what we've got here at the moment. Um, nice long forecast. Um, generally, they're showing broken clouds, 600 feet, mist. The morning, they're showing the potential for some drizzle. Uh, they're also showing a prop 30 for broken at 200 this morning. They're generally in agreement that the morning's not going to be great. They are showing here becoming from 9 to midday few clouds at a thousand feet scattered at two and a half so they're a bit unsure really um and they've got other prop 30s here they've put uh, a warning for strong wind gusts here they're coming from 2 p.m onwards scattered at 2000 so that's a little bit more promising and they've also put here from 4 p.m some slightly lower clouds so quite hard to decipher that but sounds like the afternoon is going to be better Farnborough is much the same. They're a bit less optimistic, I think. They're, they're showing it's only really going to be any good from about 4 p.m. onwards. Otherwise, it's about four to 600 feet all day. Okay, top meteo then. Um, 10 a.m., they're showing low cloud fog in the Lusham area. Going forward a couple of hours, it's clearing up quite nicely with a, a small chance of uh, some low mist. But otherwise, going into the afternoon, it looks pretty clear. So if you believe top meteo, it'll be flyable by midday. If you believe Odium, it might be. If you believe Farnborough, it probably won't be. Uh, no dams, nothing to worry about. Okay, setup-wise, um, it most likely will end up on 1.6 uh, with how strong the southerly component is. So the launch point will be there. And cables running down the edge of the runway in that direction. Um, some of you may not have flown on 1.6 before. Um, circuits as normal in the direction of 1.6. Um, keep your approaches very high with lots of air brake and lots of speed over the trees as you will get a lot of turbulence. Um, similar to 2.3 but slightly worse, you don't want to be a long way behind the trees as there will be a lot of sink. Um, I'll also just brief just in case there's a small chance we may end up on 2.3, which most of you should be familiar with. Launch point there, 
with the cable, so it'll probably be offset in this sort of direction, something like that. Okay, most likely one six if we go flying. Okay, uh, yeah, it looks like the morning won't be flyable. Uh, I'm around and the simulator serves for if anyone wants to do that, or we could do some bronze tests. Um, but hopefully we'll go flying this afternoon. Bye for now.